हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू जी सेवन इंजीनियरिंग यूट्यूब चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब और चैनल फॉर डी सेवन इंजीनियरिंग वीडियोस टुडे आवर लेक्चर इज अबाउट टू एनालाइज दिस फ्रेम एंड टू फाइंड देयर सपोर्ट रिएक्शन हेयर यू कैन सी द फ्रेम हैज टू कॉलम्स वन एट द लेफ्ट इन एंड वन एट ऑन द राइट साइड एंड द सेंटर इज द बीम यू कैन सी हेयर द बीम इज बीइंग सपोर्टेड बाय द टू कॉलम्स एंड द बीम लेंथ इज 15 मीटर व्हाइल द टू कॉलम्स ईच हैविंग लेंथ ऑफ 10 मीटर there is a one rotor support and the one is a hinge support so we are going to find the support reaction that how we analyze that how we find the support reactions for a given frame the load here acting is the lateral load of 2 kN at the mid of this beam column which is 5 m from the bottom similarly the 4 kN acting on the other side of the column the beam is being loaded with 3 kN per m which is a uniformly distributed load So to find the support reactions, the point A and point B is the rotor support, so it will have only vertical reaction R A. While it is the vertical R B, Y is really the horizontal R B into X. So to find the support reactions, I will solve in this way that I will take the summation of the moment at point B equal to zero. So by taking the moment at this point equal to zero. I can find the R A, so R A can be found. The R A into moment arm. The R A moment arm is 15 meter. You can see this distance from the A to B is 15 meter. So the perpendicular distance from the force to the point we call is the moment arm. So R A is the force into 15 meter is the moment arm for that force, and this force acts in a clockwise direction. So I consider this in a clockwise positive, and the clockwise is negative. Similarly, this Uniformly distributed load acting in the anti-clockwise direction. You can see here the three kN per meter. So its concentrated load will be three into fifteen, right? Which is fifty-five kN will be the concentrated load of this and this beam. Fifteen kN, forty-five kN is the concentrated load of this uniformly distributed load. But this is spread on a fifteen meter length. So the moment arm will be seven point five for this. in the formal distributed load because the concentrated load acts usually at the center of the beam right so this is 3 kN per meter so i can write it here and it is acting in the anti clockwise direction i can write it here um, with the negative sign into 15 which comes out to be concentrated load and the moment arm is 7.5 because 15 divided by 2 is 7.5 similarly this force is now acting in a clockwise direction along the to the point b so this moment arm is 10 divided by 2 is 5 because this x is the center of this column so 2 and this will be more clockwise direction so it will take as positive you can see here it is clicked in clockwise direction so 2 into 5 similarly this force is acting in the anti clockwise direction along the point b so for anti clockwise we take as negative 4 into 5 similarly this x is the length of 5 meter from the bottom because it acts at the center of the column. So summation of moment at point B is equal to zero. So now by calculating this, we shift this value onto the right side. In calculating, we get some value of 20. This comes out to be plus 20 because we get, we put this on the right side with a positive sign, 20, and this with a negative sign. 3 into 15 into 7.5 comes out to be 3. Three thirty-seven into point five into similarly uh, by moving this, this will be positive because on this side and this will be comes out to be negative into minus ten. So now the fifteen R A comes out to be three four seven point five kilonewton. Now dividing this by fifteen, we will get the that the R A comes out to be. Uh, dividing this value by 15, the answer comes out to be 23.16 kilonewton. So the R A resistance, uh, the R A reaction comes out to be 23.16 kilonewton. Now, to find the R B Y, we will take that the summation of moment, sorry, the summation of vertical forces is zero along the whole frame. So, and taken this is, and the positive direction. Upward and taken. This is negative direction, so R A is acting upward, and then 
3 into 15 is acting downward and then again suppose that the RB is acting in the upward direction is equal to 0. Summation of forces in the vertical direction is equal to 0. So now the RBY can be found out by moving these on the right side so it is minus, it is negative sign so it will become plus with the addition sign of 45 and R will be subtracted which is R is was 23.16 so R B Y comes out to be comes out to be 21 in 0.83 kN so R B vertical direction comes out to be 28.83 kN this we find the two vertical reactions now how to find this horizontal reaction which is uh, provided by the hinge so 2 kN acting in this direction while the 4 kN is acting in this direction for equilibrium, we should know that this 2 kN must be resisted here uh, by this support. So 2 is acting in this direction, 4 is acting in this direction. So 4 is greater. So should this RB should must be in the direction of 2 kN. So that to in equilibrium, the 4 kN must be equal to the 4 kN. But here we have 2 kN and here we have 4 kN. So this is imbalance. So we can solve this by summation of forces in the horizontal direction equal to 0. Let's suppose that this force is taken as negative and this taken is positive so this is 2 kN acting in this direction sorry in this direction so negative 2 and to 4 acting in this direction so with 4 and also rbx is also acting in this direction summation of force is equal to 0 so rbx comes out to be if we do this it's uh, it comes out to be with a with a addition sign 2 and rbx comes out to be Moving into the right side, it comes out to be minus 2 kN. So it means this negative sign shows that my force should must act in this direction. Right? In this direction. So I should change this force now in this direction. So this is my correct direction of the RB force, RBX force. So now the 2 kN and 2 kN is also RBX. So 2 kN is this one. So 2 kN in this and 2 kN in this direction is being supported by this 4 kN. You can see here. So all the horizontal forces are now have the equilibrium condition. Hope you guys understand how to find the support reactions for any given frame. And don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching my video.